गुड इवनिंग ऑल आई माननीय चैटर्जी स्टूडेंट ऑफ पी एच डी स्टूडेंट ऑफ आई एस ए बेंगलुर सो आई एम वन ऑफ टू टी एज ऑफ द कोर्स होस्ट पैथोजन इंट्रैक्शन और इम्यूनोलॉजी सो टूडे इज़ द वीक फाइव सेशन वी विल डिस्कस इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट यू कैन टेल मी और वी विल स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वीक फोर्स वीक या वीक फोर्स असाइनमेंट सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ साइटोकाइन ऑप्शन सर साइनर्जी रिडनडेंसी प्लियोट्रॉपी एम्पलीफिकेशन कैस्केट इंडक्शन सो वाइल रीडिंग अबाउट यू नो वाइल रीडिंग अबाउट साइटोकाइंस वी हैव हर्ड अबाउट साइनर्जी द फंक्शन साइनर्जी रिडनडेंसी प्लियोट्रॉपी कैस्केट इंडक्शन ऑफ साइटोकाइंस बट एम्पलीफिकेशन नो इट्स नॉट अ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ साइटोकाइंस सो द आंसर आंसर विल बी एम्पलीफिकेशन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ फंक्शन ऑफ साइटोकाइन सेल प्रोलीफरेशन इम्यू सेल्स रिक्रूटमेंट सेल डेथ इनिबिशन ऑक्सीजन ट्रांसपोर्ट इन्फ्लेमेशन रेगुलेशन ऑब्वियसली ऑक्सीजन ट्रांसपोर्ट इज नॉट अ फंक्शन ऑफ साइटोकाइन साइटोकाइन डू एक्स इन द सीनरी ऑफ सेल प्रोलीफरेशन इम्यून सेल रिक्रूटमेंट सेल डेथ इनिबिशन इन्फ्लेमेशन इन्फ्लेमेशन रेगुलेशन ओके बट नॉट ऑक्सीजन ट्रांसपोर्ट इफ द सिक्रेटेड साइटोकाइन हैज टू ट्रेवल थ्रू ब्लड वेसल्स टू रीच इट्स टारगेट and exerts its effect it is called autocrine no paracrine no endocrine yes so the answer will be endocrine okay which of which is a true statement about cytokine so options options are their high molecular weight proteins or glycoproteins secreted by rbcs long lived months to years regulate the intensity and duration of immune response so yeah cytokine are not high molecular weight protein or glycoprotein they are not obviously they are not secreted by rbcs uh, and also they are short lived so answer will be regulate the intensity and duration of immune response which of the following is a nine amino acid molecule and plays important function in blood pressure regulation thromboxanes bradykinin insulin serotonin prostaglandins answer is bradykinin which of the following is not a, a cardinal sign for acute inflammation so uh, okay cardinal sign for acute acute inflammation so which of the following is not a cardinal uh, sign for acute inflammation options are redness rubor swelling tumor pain dolor heat calor numbness and so obviously numbness and anesthesia so this all four are cardinal sign for acute inflammation okay ibuprofen and aspirin works by inhibiting the action of super uh, superoxide dismutase inosynthase cyclooxygen is genes pyruvate dehydrogenase and insulin ibuprofen and aspirin works by inhibiting the ac action of cyclooxygenase which among the following properties of cytokines is or are correct high molecular weight regulatory protein or glycoprotein secreted by wbc in response to intrinsic and extrinsic stimuli this is correct option 3 cytokine action is long lived generally ranging from few days to a few weeks 
so yeah option 2 is correct which of the following functions of cytokines is or are correct development of cellular and humoral immune responses reduction of the inflammatory response and healing of wounds control of cellular proliferation and differentiation so which of the following functions of cytokines is or are correct development of cellular and humoral immune responses reduction of the inflammatory response and healing of wounds control of cellular proliferation and differentiation uh, so yes so development of cellular and humoral immune responses is correct then reduction of the inflammatory response and healing of wounds and control of cellular proliferation and differentiation yeah so cytokines do not uh, directly involved in reduction of the inflammatory response but yeah they do control the cell proliferation and differentiation you can check in our if you have any doubt you let me know or we can check in the cytokine NPTEL lecture 3 So about the cytokines, these are low molecular weight regulatory protein or glycoprotein secreted by WBCs, low molecular weight regulatory protein in response to intrinsic and extrinsic stimuli. Cytokines action is short lived, generally ranging from a few hours to a few days. Cytokines regulate the intensity and duration of the immune response. Cytokines exhibit its effect by this kind of actions. So it, ha acts, uh, so it has a pleiotropy uh, nature. So it means it activates like IL-4 as a cytokine it can activate B cell thymocytes or mast cells for different different effect or for different different function okay then synergy that is activated T helper cell where uh, two cytokine IL-4 and IL-5 both simultaneously act on B cell and induces class switch to IgG redundancy activated T helper cell where IL-2 IL-4 IL-5 all, all are uh, like redundantly helping B cell for proliferation. Okay, then we do see antagonism, we do see cascade interaction. Okay. Cytokine function, development of cellular and humoral immune responses, induction of the inflammatory response. Yeah, so cytokine induces inflammatory responses, not reduces. Okay. A regulation of hematopoiesis, control of cellular proliferation and differentiation, and the healing of wounds. Yeah, so as I was telling, the healing of wound, wound was correct. Where is the thing? But it's not reduction of inflammatory responses, so partially was correct. Okay. <coughs> So, which of the following statements regarding serotonin is are correct? Serotonin regulates inflammation by acting by acting on serotonin receptors that are differentially expressed on non-immune cells. Serotonin acts as a potent chemoattractant, recruiting recruiting innate immune cells to site of inflammation. Immune cells have a high capacity to synthesize and release serotonin. Which of the following statements regarding serotonin is are correct? Serotonin regulates inflammation by acting on serotonin receptors that are differentially expressed on non-immune cells. No. So, if we go through. Yeah. So, serotonin is present in hematopoietic stem cells and in high abundance in platelets. Serotonin regulates inflammation and immunity by acting on serotonin receptors that are differentially expressed on immune cells. So, yeah. So, serotonin receptors are differentially expressed on immune cells, not non-immune cells. So, option 1 is incorrect. Serotonin acts as a potent 
chemo attractant recruiting innate immune cells to sites of infection this is true and immune cells have a high capacity to synthesize and release serotonin this is also true so option 2 and 3 are correct So, the RNA helicase RIG1 has an essential function in double-stranded RNA-induced innate antiviral responses. So, this is a um, research paper published in Nature Immunology. You can uh, go through the paper, but uh, the take-home message is that the RNA helicase RIG1 has an essential function. It helps in, you know, double standard rna induced double standard rna induced innate antiviral responses so here the innate antiviral responses is induced by double standard rna and rna helicase rig1 has an essential function on that okay so this is rlr so, uh, so this are special like pattern recognition receptors or uh, example RNR so different kinds of RLR response um, sensors are there RIG1, MDF5, LGP2 so where three main domains are present curved domain, helicus domain, CTD domain and PM domain so curved domain, is pre uh, uh, curved domain is present in RIG1 and MDF5 helicus domain is present in all and CTD domain is also present so these are uh, re so RIG is retinoic acid inducible gene 1 or DDX58, MDF5 melanoma differentiation associated protein 5, IF1, IFIH1, and LGP2 is laboratory of genetics and physiology. Okay, recognition of RNA viruses by RLRs. So there are different kind of disease, uh, new, uh, Newcastle disease virus, vesicular stomatitis virus, Sendai virus. So where RIG1 helps, so RIG1 has CARTO domain, you know, and there are another uh, sensor which is MDA5 in the case of encephalo encephalomyocarditis virus. Uh, so where these sensors, different kinds of secondary uh, like sensor example is 5 triphosphate end of RNA and then they you know um, they give activation to IPS1 and from that different signaling uh, such as I IRF 3 by 7 or NF kappa beta gets activated and type 1 interferons and pro-inflammatory cytokines get produced So this is the RIG1 uh, domain where you can see the CTD domain and this is the helicase and CARD2, CARD1 and CARD2 domain and uh, so base pairing is there you can see so it's binding with the DNA where there is a triphosphate bond so where uh, CTD is binding okay so selected viral infection detected by RLRs so different viral infection which are being detected by RLRs so Baltimore classification is one double standard DNA virus family example herpes viridi herpes viridi herpes simplex virus type 1 Kaposi's sarcoma associated herpes virus Epstein-Barr virus RLR RIG1 and MDA5 Pox viridi, vaccinia virus, adeno viridi, adenovirus, RIG1 and MDA5, RIG1, the double standard DNA, sorry, two single standard DNA, no known examples that activate RLRs, uh, double standard DNA, Rio viridi or rotavirus, RIG1 and MDA5, single standard RNA, Picona viridi, encephalomyocarditis virus, rhinovirus, Coxsackie B virus, RIG1 and MDA5, Flavi viridi, West Nile virus, hepatitis C virus, Zika virus, RIG1 and MDA5, Corona viridi, SARS coronavirus, single standard RNA, orthomyxovirus, that is influenza virus, 
पैरामिक्सोवायरस मिजल्स वायरस फाइलोविडी इवोला वायरस ओके मार्बक वायरस सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड आर एन ए रेट्रोविडी ह्यूमन इम्यूनो डेफिशेंसी वायरस हेपन डबल स्टैंडर्ड डी एन ए हेपन ना विडी रिग वन एंड एम डी फाइव एक्टिवेशन ऑफ रिग वन बाई होस्ट आर एन एस ड्यूरिंग इन्फेक्शन रिग वन इम्यूनो प्रेसिपिटेशन सॉफ्टवेयर एच एस वी वन इन्फेक्शन हाईली इनरीच एंड पर्टिकुलरली आर एन ए फाइव एस आर आर एन ए सो दैट इज आर एन ए फाइव एस पी वन फोर्टी वन फाइव एस आर एन ए सीडोजिन ट्रांसलेट्स होस्ट सेलुलर आर एन एस दैट इज अनयूजल मिस लोकलाइज एंड मिस प्रोसेस्ड ड्यू टू डिस्टर्बेंसेज ऑफ सेलुलर आर एन ए होमियोस्टेसिस अनमस्क सेलुलर नॉन कोडिंग आर एन ए इंक्लूडिंग एम आई आर एन ए एक्टिवेशन ऑफ रिग वन बाय होस्ट आर एन एस इन स्टेरल कंडीशन म्यूटेशन इन आर एल आर एल आर्स कॉज स्पॉन्टेनियस So activation of Rig one by host RNAs in sterile conditions. So adenosine DMINS acting on RNA one. Uh, so it's ADAR one deficiency in humans and mice causes chronic type one interferon production and inflammatory pathology. In a breast cancer, the tumor microenvironment results in increased production of the non-coding five prime uh, triple phosphate containing RNA. आरएन सेवन एस एल वन आर एन ए इन स्ट्रोमन सेल्स फॉलोड बाई ट्रांसफार अब दिस आर एन ए बाय एक्सोजोम्स टू कैंसर सेल्स रेजल्टिंग इन रिग वन एक्टिवेशन आर एल आर मेडिएट इज सिग्नलिंग पाथवे सो यू नो डी वेन वायरस इन्फेक्सर्स इट कम्स इन टू इन इन साइड द सेल्स एंड देन इट्स रिलीज इज जीनो सो दिस आर एन एज get you know uh, detected by this kind of rig1 and mds and then it activates mavs okay that is mitochondrial antiviral signaling proteins mavs full form so mavs uh, so mitochondrial antiviral fill uh, you know signaling protein so this in downstream activates mam which are present in the mitochondria and then um, inhibitory kappa beta and then nf kappa beta and uh, the downstream signaling pathway so this is a uh, rlr pathway regulation and different proteins and non coding rnas are involved okay so some activating uh, post translational modification and inhibitory post translations translational modifications are also involved here so okay so some there is some post translational modification that is uh, lysine 177 172 ubiquitin lysation those are uh, like activating this pathway and some inhibitory post translational modifications are also there which is inhibiting this pathway rlr mutations and diseases <coughs> so there are um, different genes and where uh several mutations are associated and this mutations can do gain of function mutation or loss of function mutation and there are effects increase expression uh, of if1 h1 increase expression of if1 h1 disruption of the normal splicing and so on and there are different di disorders like sld uh, ags t1d so rlrs agonist that comprise poly 5 prime triphosphor double stranded rna stem loop rna 14 and m8 may induce cancer cell apoptosis and immune responses against tumors through co treatment with rlr against poly uh, high molecular weight poly ic hmw 
सो वेयर साइंटिस्ट हैव फाउंड दैट द एंटी कैंसर इफेक्ट ऑफ आयनाइजिंग रेडिएशन और आई आर इज एनहैंस एंड द फॉलोइंग आप रेगुलेटेड फैस एक्सप्रेशन इज रिस्पॉन्सिव टू फैस एल इंड्यूस अपोक्टोसिस देयर फोर दे प्रोपोज दैट दिस इज प्रोमिसिंग टू यूज प्रोमिसिंग टू यूज अ कम्बिनेशन ऑफ आर एल आर एगोनिस्ट आई आर एंड फैस एल फॉर ट्रीटिंग कैंसर एस एल आर फोर्टीन इज अ रेक वन एगोनिस्ट विच हैज बीन ऑब्जर्व टू इंड्यूस रोबस्ट एंटी ट्यूमर रेस्पॉन्सिस इज इन इम्यूनोजेनिक और नॉन इम्यूनोजेनिक ट्यूमर्स एंड कैन सर्व एज अ पावरफुल इम्यून एडजूवेंट ऑफ इम्यून चेक पॉइंट ब्रॉकेट थेरेपी सो अ नैनो पर्टिकल डिलीवरी ऑफ रिक वंस नेचुरल लिगन पी 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 डबल स्टैंडर्ड एलिनी इन टू पैंट्रियटिक कैंसर एंड सक्सेसफुली सीज ट्यूमर प्रोग्रेशन एमिट अ सिक्वेंस मॉडिफाइड रिक वन एगोनिस्ट इज अरिन रिच हेयर पिन फाइव प्राइन आर एन ए कम्पोज ऑफ नाइनटी नाइन न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स एंड हैज रिसेंटली शोन प्रोमिसिंग पोटेंशियल टू इंड्यूस इम्यूनोजेनिक सेल डेथ रिलेटेड टू रिलेटेड एंड डैमेज एसोसिएटेड विथ मॉलिकुलर पैटर्न ऑन ट्यूमर सेल्स एंड साइनोजाइज विद अदर थेरापीज टू स्टिमुलेट द एक्टिवेशन ऑफ एंटी ट्यूमर इम्यून सिग्नल्स इंटरट्यूमरल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द रिक वन एगोनिस्ट एस एल आर ट्वेंटी कैन इंड्यूस इम्यूनोजेनिक सेल डेथ and breast cancer cell microenvironment modulations ultimately leading to the inhibition of tumor growth and metastasis <coughs> high reguan expression is associated with ovarian cancer a low level of reguan suggests poor prognosis in melanoma patients so again there are different kinds of genes and mutations associated with it with it which leads to gain of function or loss of function mutations and there are uh, diseases like sle ags lupus like nephritis associated with this rnr ligands in therapeutics rnrs agonists that comprise poly ic 5 prime triphosphate double stranded rna stem loop rna uh, induce cancer cell apoptosis and anti tumor immune responses so pattern recognition receptors nlr and nlr signaling pathways <coughs> in plants resistance gene our genes plays a critical function against microbial and parasite pathogens and these genes are enlers therefore enlers are first identified in plants homologous of the enlers are present in vertebrates and primitive organisms such as sea urchin the evolutionary conserved enlers family play an important function in host defense in humans the enler family is composed of 22 proteins and there are at least 33 enler genes in mice so enler is nucleotide binding oligomerization domain uh, like receptors structure and function of enler ligands uh, so i e dap listeria monocytogenes chlamydophilia there are uh, different receptors uh, come like called nord1 so induces the production of inflammatory cytokines through nf kappa beta and map kinases pathway ligands mdp mycobacterium tuberculosis not to induce the production of inflammatory cytokine through nf kappa beta and map kinases mdp lethal toxin of bacillus anthracis induces caspase 1 dependent cell death mdp microbial rna uh, tlr ligand and atp uh, receptor is nlr p3 induce caspase 1 dependent il1 beta and il18 uh, production forms nlr uh, p3 inflammasome along with asc and caspase 1 legionella pneumophilia control replication of bacteria independent of caspase 1 okay nord 1 and nord 2 ligand so gram positive bacteria has vector to glycan nord 1 and nord 2 ligand is uh, so nord 2 ligand is mdp 
so you know there is uh, nama and na, um, like nam and na nag glycosylated glycosylation bond so where l alanine d d glutamic acid uh, d alanine are bound and then these are linked with another uh, glycan chain so this is intracellular d gamma glutamyl mesodap ie dap and neuramyl dipeptide mdp signaling through nod 1 and nod 2 is ultimately going and then uh, acting on map map kinase and nf papa beta so through tlrs activation of inflammasome inflam also happens so this is a you know um, signaling pathway where different adapters protein like uh, so there are different adapter proteins which uh, uh, yeah so there are which give signal to downstream proteins and then they ultimately acts on certain genes gives different types of infl inflammasome flagellin rod proteins uh, mediated activation and cytoplasmic dna so nlr mutation and disease so there are gain of function mutations and loss of function mutation mm. So there are different diseases, muckle well syndrome, familial called cold uh, autoinflammatory syndrome, neonatal onset multisystem inflammatory disease, not to and Crohn's disease. So here uh, it's uh, okay. What happens? Reduced not to dependent expression of bacterial alpha defense in, in panel cell, impaired recognition and clearance of bacteria by intestinal phagocytosis. <coughs> Dysregulation of TLA2 mediated inflammation in intestinal macrophages and or dendritic cells. Enhanced production of IL-1 beta. So this is in different NLR mutations and different diseases example. Um, Crohn's, disease, Crohn's disease associated with not two uh, mutations in LLR example r 7 Zero two W. So mutations mice with mutations in not two did not develop gut inflammation, but are more susceptible to bacterial and viral infection. So again, there are different proteins which has um, different mutations, and they are associated with certain diseases. If you have any doubt, we can talk about it and then we'll talk about uh, DNA sensors.